assalamu alaikum. Um, my name is Shadwa and I'm an Egyptian and I'm right here in the middle of the cold cold and rain in Glasgow and I'm supporting you guys a hundred percent. I'm even wearing my I love Egypt t-shirt. Ashab, Yuri, Iskad, and Izam. 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 I'm from Glasgow Occupy. We are part of the global occupation movement, and I think without the Egyptian revolution, that the idea of camping tents in cities across the world would have not have happened. So that's why it's important to be here in solidarity with Tiara Square. Personally, I've been a revolutionary for 21 years now, and actually the events of this year really would, um, brought to life again my beliefs in, the, beliefs in revolution, and I hope the Egyptians win. As you'll know, and uh, I suppose we should say, just so everyone else knows as well, that we're here today to show solidarity with our brothers and sisters in Egypt who are struggling to preserve the revolution that they fought so hard and sacrificed so greatly for um, at the beginning of this year. Um, I'd like to say to the people of Egypt yeah, that, um, that we're here to show their solidarity with them. Okay, I would just like to say that we're here supporting the people of Egypt and we want you to carry on fighting until you beat the military and you put in your own government and you're allowed to determine your own borders and your own world and we're supporting you all the way. Um, we need to show solidarity, you know, and although we can't be there, you know, I think kind of coming out and showing kind of public support um, and meeting together and all kind of linking up. The people have really um, taken hold of their own future and began to build a, a better future for themselves. And uh, I think you can see that today with the fact that people are still out in Tahrir Square. They're still out struggling and uh, fighting for a better future. So I, I have to say all respect to our Egyptian brothers and sisters and uh, the victory to the Egyptian revolution. We would like to tell our brother and sister in Egypt that we are in solidarity with them. We are supporting them. And uh, to tell them that they are not alone. We are here with them and everybody around the world, all the freedom fighter or the freedom lover, they are supporting the Egyptian on, and the Arab revolution around the world. Thank you. Look, it's really good that we're here tonight at short notice yet again. And if we think back to the beginning of the year, we think back to the beginning of the year, 2011, this momentous year for our movement, for peace, democracy, and for a better world, then I think everybody that's here today really should spread the message. The people of Glasgow should see that all around the world, ordinary people who are fighting against dictatorships for a better world for themselves and their family, for democracy, have solidarity stretching across the globe. And we here today in Glasgow have got a lot to be thankful to the people of the Middle East, to the people of Egypt. So we thank them. We stand in solidarity because their movement, and let's be clear what's happened since the Egyptian revolution, their movement has inspired millions across the world. Why are people occupying George Square? Why are people occupying Edinburgh? Why are they occupying Wall Street? Because unlike our dictators, who with their lies and wars over the last 10 years told us that we in the West would bring democracy with bombs to the people of the Middle East. What a lie that was. And the people of the Middle East, the people of Egypt, have in fact reversed that. They have shown us in the West how to bring true democracy, and we've taken inspiration for them. So thank you, thank you. And as our brother just said there, we're here tonight in a wet and cold day in Glasgow, but we're thankful because we don't face what our brothers and sisters face in Egypt, and we take inspiration for them. To all the young people, to the families that yet again over the last few weeks have lost more matters to the struggle for peace and freedom. And we know, I mean, interesting, when I see when I watch them just on the TV and see how people speak when the cameras go and they ask ordinary people in the street why are they here and the things that they say the thought behind it the intelligence the commitment the way that they're seen through and committed to that process i think is an absolute inspiration an absolute inspiration the police have tried to restore what it was like before mubarak and the 
the people have said no. So we thank the people of Egypt. We're standing here for solidarity with them and let's spread the word. And the people of Glasgow, I'm sure, as you see us today, their hearts are with the brothers and sisters in Tahrir Square, in Alexandria, in Suez, and all across Egypt. So thank you for being here tonight. It's, we're all in it together. I'm from Saudi Arabia. I wish to be free and I want everyone to become free. So FIFA freedom. So just I want our guts to support us to be free. But the Egyptian people understand that it comes from the streets. It comes from the factories. It comes from the schools and the colleges and the universities. It comes from ordinary people mobilizing in their hundreds of thousands and coming out into the streets and forcing fundamental changes. Next Wednesday, 30th, there will be strikes across the UK. People fighting for their rights, their rights to pension, their rights against to maintain public services. We'll be there and the, the inspiration of people from Egypt will be on those demonstrations and on those picket lines. Join the people who are on strike on Wednesday. We'll remember the people of Egypt on Wednesday. I'm sure they will see that as a small gesture of support for them. Thanks. Thank you very much for being here tonight. If you walk all the way down until you get to the Clyde, you read a very famous slogan saying, better die on your feet than live for the rest of your life on your knees. Yeah. Egyptian people have decided it's long overdue that they stand on their feet, no matter how many bullets, no matter how many thugs can get in the square, no matter how many bullets are transferred from America to Egypt, or canister, gas canisters, all of them made in the USA and Britain. The Egyptian people have found their voice and no one will silence them until they get true democracy. Brothers and sisters, let's remember what brought us here today. Let's remember 30 years of someone like Mubarak. Not one day of freedom for any Egyptian. Poverty, education that has gone to the ground. Israel, a country of 50 years since it sadly was established in our beloved Palestine, has five universities that are recognized across the world. And Egypt, that had 1,500 years of universities, has none recognized across the globe. It's not poverty, it's corruption in Egypt. It's corruption that was supported by America and Britain and the West. It's corruption that will end today by the free elections that the Egyptian people will hold hopefully on Monday. Thank you very much for coming here tonight. And the people of Egypt are an inspiration, an inspiration for how we can bring about change. Peaceful movements, mass movements for change. I think that we all have to um, do what we can to spread the word and to send solidarity messages to our brothers and sisters in Tahrir Square and to support them um, because inshallah they will show us what is democracy. We need this example here in this country and around the world. So keep going on guys. Assalamu alaikum.